Now the first step is to uninstall and reinstall BattleEye. Now for this you can go to the game installation folder. So if you have the game on Steam, you can make a right click and click on browse local files and then go to the game installation folder and then open BattleEye folder. And over here you can see uninstall BattleEye. Make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And once this is done, now you can make a right click on install battle eye and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click once again click on run as administrator and uninstall battle eye once this is done now you can launch the game when you launch the game it will prompt you it will prompt you to install battle eye once again during the launch so I'm launching the game. So over here you can see the game is launching. Even if you don't see the prompt, it should reinstall BattleEye and then you can check. Let me close the game. Now the next step is to run Steam or Ubisoft Connect as an administrator. So first of all, you can close Steam, click on Steam and then click on Exit. And if you have Ubisoft Connect, uh, in that case you can just um, close Ubisoft Connect, make a right click and then quit Ubisoft Connect. And then you can run Steam. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click and then click on run as administrator. And if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, you can just make a right click on Ubisoft Connect and run as administrator. And then you can check. Now, the next step is to Steam users try launching game from Ubisoft Connect. So you can over here, you will see Ubisoft Connect, make a double click and then find the game over here you can see the game and then launch the game from here and then check next step is to clear download cache now for this for steam users you can go to steam go to steam over here and then go to settings go to downloads and then over here you can see clear cache option click on it and then click on confirm and once that is done now you can check now if you have the game on ubisoft connect in that case uh, you can go to this location so open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive open program file 686 and then open ubisoft open ubisoft and then ubisoft game launcher over here you can see cache folder so you can just create a backup first maybe you can copy this create a backup and then you can rename it or you can delete this cache folder and then you can launch the game and then check you have to close the Ubisoft Connect first. So before you do so, quit Ubisoft Connect and then you can delete or you can rename cache folder and then check. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, you can just uh, go to library. I, I have the game on Steam. So uh, you can just click over here and then click on manage, then go to properties and then go to the game installation folder you will see the option i'll show you a different game i have the game on uh, epic uh, sorry in steam so you can go to properties and then you will see installation and then you can click open folder if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select manage browse local files and then find the game exe file So here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, go to properties once again and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, this time you can try Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. You can do the same thing with this exe file and then check. If that does not work, so when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Do the same thing with this exe file. Now, the next step is to verify the game file. This is important. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to 
delete the settings.ini file in documents folder so you can go to file explorer go to documents and then open my games open Rain rainbow six c's folder open this folder over here you can say game settings make a right click and delete it when you delete it all the saved settings will be lost so delete it and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to if you have any game which has the battle eye like pubg or fortnite or any game which has the battle eye in that case you can rename battle eye services bit uh, battle eye be service underscore x64.exe for rainbow sixes and then copy this exe file from another game like pubg or fortnite which has the battle eye and then paste it to the rainbow sixes i'll show you how to do it now first of all you can make a right click manage browse local files go to the game installation folder open the battle eye folder over here you can see b service underscore x64 so you can just rename it maybe dot old and if you have any other game like maybe pubg or fortnite you can open any game which has the battle eye open battle eye folder and over here you also you will find b service underscore x64 you can copy this and then go back and then you can open the game folder over here open battle eye and then you can paste the file over here once you have this new b service file from other game now you can launch the game if you face any problem you can delete it and then you can just keep the original file you can rename it you can remove dot old from here and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work try dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step you can do the same thing in uh, battle dot uh, sorry not the battle.net ubisoft connect over here you can click over here and then click on manage properties and in the enter launch arguments you can type in dash dx11 and then you can save and then launch the game if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 and then save launch the game and then check still not working then in that case you can remove this save it and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allow app click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select all the exe file over here open and then again click on add and load app browse all apps select this exe file click on open pause not this one now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select this exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse select this exe file click on open click on add in my case i have already added the game now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen 
click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see the screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver for amd and then restart your computer and then go to amd website select your model number select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in window search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app click on and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added now find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and then over here you can see gpu preference select high performance you will see your graphic card select your graphic card over here and then launch the game next step is to now this is for amd users you can install this amd optional update that is option amd 25.2.1 and then you can go to amd website and then you can install this you can install this uh, and once the installation is complete you can click on it and then install it restart a computer and then launch the game you can even install this if that does not work you can even try amd 25.1.1 optional update again you can search in google and then go to amd website and then you can install this update and then you can run this exe file restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel you can go to desktop maker right click select show more option go to nvidia control panel and once nvidia control panel is open go to man uh, at the top left here you can see help option go to help and then select debug mode and then you can check still not working the next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and download this x64 you have to install both the files and then you can run both the exe files so run this x86 and x64 if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button click on install run this x64 file as well again if you see repair click on repair if you see install button click on install and let the installation complete once both are installed you can close this and then restart you can be restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings and then go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running revert unit running make sure that you close it from here sometimes we have afterburner running over here revert unit running over here you can just make a right click close it if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game disable steam overlay so for this you can make a right click on the game select properties go to general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if you have any other overlay application like discord running you can turn off overlay in discord you can turn off overlay in geforce experience or if you are using nvidia app you can open nvidia app go to settings and over here you can see nvidia overlay you can turn this off or you can simply close all the overlay application also if you have razor software or any kind of application running close it unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected the usb dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive 
So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number update the BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% when you update the BIOS and do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game try window mode lower down resolution and try to lower down graphics settings so if everything is set to high or ultra you can set it to medium or low quality and then check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can make a right click select manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to any external drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.